All right, I've loaded the server into your vehicle. You're good to go. Try not to drive it off a cliff, hmm? I get the feeling Bagley is a bad influence. Adios. CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. This is brilliant. Now Look at this. It's compiling data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic! drive now disabled. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. You have reached your destination. Data reconstruction in progress. All right, scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell, do they use it for anything but watching people shag? I believe we're in trouble, Bagley. Well, shit, you need to do anything to lose your new friends. Maybe invite them to a pottery night or overshare something personal. Whatever you do, just get to the last location in one piece. Oh, for Christ. All right. Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now. 
Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. Auto drive now enabled. drive now disabled. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. Auto drive now enabled. You have reached your destination. Suspect. 
target's vehicle. These bloody drones seem to fancy me. Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them. Throw rocks at them. Destroy them psychologically with cyberbullying. Just keep them busy until the transfer's complete. Too much damage. A few more hits and it's toast. server forever. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. Keep talking. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! of the world, and most importantly, I got a new toy to play with. Now, run along back to the safe house. Sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing.
Today on The Upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, but no one knows too much about her. And we only really see her these days as a hologram. She was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that is best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's hard to remember a world before Bagley. And I think that what Sky Larson's done with Bagley is absolutely incredible. Bagley. up today on the upload we're talking about sky larson the coming up today on the upload we're talking about sky larson the enigmatic founder of broker tech everyone knows her name but no one knows too much about her and we only really see her these days as a hologram she was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that is best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's hard to remember a world before Bagley. And I think that what Sky Larson's done with Bagley is absolutely incredible. Bagley is the most advanced, significant AI of our time, and it's really blown all the other AIs that were created out of the water. Yeah, I mean, I can't really imagine the optic without it. But what do you know about Sky Larson herself? Um, not a lot other than that she's actually pretty incredible. I followed her work for a long time and she's always been a pretty private person. I know that she supposedly grew up in the countryside, but there isn't actually that much more we know about her other than this tech that she's put out into the world. I've always found it a bit creepy that she's so obsessed with this idea of transhumanism. Why wouldn't you be when you've got a mind as amazing as Sky's? Why wouldn't you want to take what you've got and actually augment it by working with technology, by improving your physical self, changing your body and the world around you, implementing more technology to extend your life and really sort of extend human capabilities? You sound pretty much in love with Sky Larson, I have to say. I can't comment on that, but I am a big fan of her work. She's been one of these people that has transformed the world around us, and just watching how her mind works from afar is pretty incredible because some of what the technology she's introduced has changed how we all live our lives, and Bagley has been this really incredible assistance to humanity as a whole. Did I ever tell you that I actually interviewed Sky Larson once? Really? I thought she never spoke to the media or anything. So this was a long time ago, back in the day when she was a little bit more accessible. And she was one of these people that just had an amazing presence. You were inspired by her very being, and she was just incredibly talented and knowledgeable and one of possibly the best living people that I've ever met. I'm not sure you're being too objective there. I mean, I imagine she's not very likable as a person. She obviously despises humanity in some way. I think she believes that becoming data is preferable to being human. She's one of these people who is extremely methodical in everything that she does. And she does everything to perfection and really tries to change the world around her and make it a better place for us to live in. If you say so.
Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. Listen, as long as we put a stop to people exploiting the city, I'll be happy. Albion's presence here is a ticking time bomb. If we don't get rid of them, we're done for. Lest we forget Clan Kelly either, their little fiefdom gets larger and more dangerous by the day. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out dead sex once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed dead sec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. It's not the protesters you should blame, it's the leaders. They're the ones out of control. Why does this always to happen? This won't solve any of your problems. Failure to possess valid status documents is a crime. 